What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today we're going to be going over XRP and we're going to be going over the technicals and the lawsuit. So big shout out to Elias Dream for letting me know about this and telling me to go over this coin. Definitely become a member if you want me to go over any crypto you want me to go over. And also hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also if you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description and use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, none of this is financial advice, but yeah, let's go straight over XRP. So before we even get to the technicals, we're going to go over the new updates on the lawsuits and pretty much what's going on, pretty much what's going on with the lawsuit. So we're going to be going over this right now. And actually, before we do that, I just want to briefly go over this XRP or on XRP. So we officially partnered with Ripple to set a standard for the NFT ecosystem. It's official now. So this is going to be pretty good. The whole ecosystem on the XP or the XRPL. So working together for a better and safer future for everyone, all that good stuff. So yeah, they're now officially partnered. So let's go over XRP and the whole lawsuit. So this is coming from FX Street. So big shout out to them for this. For this. So XRP prices surge as investors turn bullish on potential SEC versus Ripple sentiment. So pretty much the breakdowns of this is this. So the Ripple community of holders and investors are awaiting Judge Sarah Netburn's verdict on the SEC versus a Ripple case. So they're waiting for the verdict. And then as well, a source close to the SEC believes that the regulator is less likely to achieve its desired outcome. So our, this this is definitely a huge lawsuit. Like it's been dragging out so long, but I definitely think XRP is going to win this. Ripple is going to win this. But let's keep going over this. Analysts have evaluate, evaluated the XRP price trend and predicted an uptrend. So there's a predicted uptrend on here. We're going to be going over the technicals as well. And I'm going to be explaining why I definitely believe uptrends coming. These are the vital algo indicators. So they pretty much indicate when we have some bullish movements. So uh, long story short, you know, we are probably going to have a little bit of a downtrend. But the second we get down here, we're going to be very bullish. And I'm going to explain why that is. So we're going to be going over this after we go over the SEC case. So let's go over this. So the XRP community of investors believe that the defendant is closer to a win in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. So the altcoin's price has climbed in response to this bullish narrative and pretty much we're just awaiting the verdict by Judge Sarah Netburn. Now, a lot of people are really bullish with XRP. I'm definitely bullish with it as well. This has been dragging out for so long and you Along the way, we have lost a lot of people, but we've picked up a lot of new followers on XRP. So there's a lot going on here. Now, payment giant closer to win in the SEC versus Ripple case. case. And this is why. So the XRP community is awaiting a verdict from Judge Sarah Netburn on the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit, though there is no tentative time frame for the ruling. Proponents believe the case has drawn to a decisive conclusion and the payments giants could win. So John, De John Deaton, almost a death line. But yeah, John Deaton, XRP holders attorney. So he's the attorney for the holders. He believes that there may be no settlement in the SEC versus Ripple case within the next month. So there could be a delay in the ruling. However, attorney Jeremy Hogan argues that early settlement cannot be ruled out. So Hester Pierce, the SEC commissioner, believes that the regulator may fail to achieve a favorable outcome. This could translate into a win for the payment giant Ripple. So I definitely believe they're not going to be able to do too much on this. And also with the whole thing with Biden going over the new regulations for crypto and pretty much giving them the pass to make regulations, it's it's pretty much confirmed that they're not going to destroy crypto. They're not just going to ban crypto in the U.S. They already explained it. They're, they're not going to do that. Pretty much what they're going to make happen inside of the whole crypto space, they're going to do some regulations to where people can't just easily get scammed or hacked. They're going to put regulations on these exchanges, making sure they're secured and making sure investors are secured as well. They're not banning crypto anytime soon or ever, actually. It really benefits them more to keep crypto because they can tax that as another source of revenue for the government. And what does the government like more than money? More money. So that's probably what we're going to see coming like soon with these regulations. They're not going to be regulations banning crypto. They're going to be regulations promoting crypto and maybe placing, well, they're, they already have the taxes on crypto. Let's be honest. I filed my taxes this year and I put all my crypto earnings on there. So they already have the taxes in place. The only thing they're going to, they're going to do now is just regulate these exchanges. And as they regulate the exchanges, that's going to help investors with security. So this is definitely 
a good thing that the regulations are coming like this because we were unregulated for the longest time. And now we're, we're finally getting some groundwork here done. We're, you're going to see XRP benefit from this one of the, as one of the most because they've been having this SEC, SEC thing dragging out for the longest time. But let's keep going over this. XRP buyers are accumulating the altcoin. And that's true. A lot of people have been buying more moving coins off exchanges to private wallets, which is definitely a good idea because some exchanges are refusing to deal with XRP because this whole lawsuit. But as these regulations get put into place, they're probably going to just add XRP back because it's, it's inevitable. There's just too much going on with the lawsuit for them to even want to touch it. But after it's all done, then you're going to see XRP probably explode from there. Now, even looking at XRP over here, $35.3 in market cap, it still has a lot of leeway to go up. It could be just as much as Binance coin. So you could definitely see something like that coming for XRP because it's that big, that major of a giant. So trading volume is always going to be high because, you know, it's like a payment method. But th this is just something that's inevitable to happen for XRP. I definitely believe it's going to continue to grow from here. As you can see, 4.7% down for the last 24 hours. Not too bad, not too shabby. Obviously, for the last year, it's going to look low because of this whole lawsuit thing. It's been dragging out for so long. But you just got to think, before all this happened, like, what? where was XRP at? It was way down here. It, it's been going on forever. But XRP is literally, like, the, one of the top cryptos out there. It's one of the oldest ones as well. So you just can't count it out. And once this is all over and done with, you're going to see it pump to levels never seen before. But yeah, let's keep going over this. So XRP buyers are accumulating more. Now, a whale wallet actually moved $55 million in XRP to an unknown wallet, which was probably a hardware wallet. So despite a slow start in March 2022, the altcoin quickly recovered from the whole bloodshed as 5% gains pretty much recovered overnight. So the SEC commissioner's statement fueled investors' optimism. And by the way, this, was, this article was made yesterday. But over here, the SEC commissioner's statement fueled the investors' optimism. And they pretty much had the whole thing happen today, confirming that they're going to be placing regulations, but they're not going to be bad regulations. So as a higher volume of XRP moves through corridors, it fuels the utility and options and adoption of the altcoin. So although there is a delay in the settlement of the SEC's lawsuit against XRP, there has been a surge in the altcoin's utility and relevance among traders. And you're seeing that they're, in, they're inside the NFT space now. They're literally going to get all over the place. And I don't know if you heard it yet, but LimeWire is coming back. So yes, LimeWire is going to be doing music NFTs. So yeah, you can see XRP getting in on that too. I don't know. Anything can happen at this point. So analysts have evaluated the XRP price trend and predicted that the upside is capped at 80 cents. That's just for right now until things get settled. And they said as traders await for SEC versus Ripple settlement. So as things get settled, 80 cents is pretty much where they're saying that we're capped at. But I'm going to be going over that. And if, actually, if you look at these automated trading indicators, you can see that 80 cents is where it's capped at. But after 80 cents, when when this whole settlement is said and done, you're going to see it pump huge after that because there's almost little to no resistance after 80 cents. We're going to be going over that after we go over the rest of these technicals. So, or the rest of these articles. So FX Street analysts pretty much believe that it's, it's bullish long-term, but what they're saying right now is bearish short-term. They said analysts have noted that Ripple confirmed a bearish Ichimoku breakout on Sunday. However, there has there was no follow through as volume participation in all coins across exchanges dipped. So you got to think everything was dipping on that day. So obviously it looked bearish that day for the short term. But long term, we're definitely bullish here. And then another price prediction that was made today, Ripple Edge is closer to a 20% breakout. So XRP price consolidates above a 68.7 to 75 or well, 705 demand zone. So suggesting a breakout possibility. So investors can expect Ripple to rally 20% and retest the 917 resistance barrier. So a six hour candlestick close below the 687 support will invalidate the bullish thesis here with XRP. Now, as you can see here, we're kind of seeing that we could break out, but the, the lawsuit is going to keep XRP from breaking out. I'm going to be completely honest. You're not going to see XRP go into the moon until this is said and done, until all of it's done. But right now, we are getting closer and closer to having this done. And it's looking more on XRP's side. So that's why they're dragging it out so long because they can't they can't get them. They can't get that money from them. But let's keep going on this. So XRP price coils up. XRP price began its, its consolidation after rallying 26% between February 24th and, 26, and the 26th of February. So rallying 26% around there. So let's go back to February 24th and the 26th. So 
Let's take off the indicator so it kind of looks a little bit more neat. So as you can see from the 24th starting right here, and then the 26th over here, we had a huge pump. But since then, it's been in consolidation mode since that huge pump. And actually, you can see that they're actually pretty right, pretty right about that. So they're not wrong about it consolidating since that pump. You can see the consolidation is happening. But at the end of the consolidation, if we can't go break out on the upside, you're going to see XRP dip down to this area here. So it's going to probably dip down to 71 cents out of this channel if we can't you know pump out of the out of the consolidation period now let me turn back on the indicators so after that happens the lowest that you'll probably see xrp go before the next you know breakout or a 20 percent breakout is pretty much what they're talking about and it's not going to be a moonshot it's just going to be a little 20 percent for the short term but you'll probably see it happen if xrp inches down to below 70 cents to 69 cents you'll probably see another breakout probably happening going up to 76 cents possibly even the 80 cents if we start seeing the overall crypto market continue to rise from there. So if we see Bitcoin and everything going else, you will definitely see XRP pumping with it as well. But let's keep going over this. So over here, the six hour demand zone extending from 687 to 705 is the base of this consolidation. That's pretty much what I was talking about there with the base of the consolidation. So you can see it here. I'll draw that line again. So the base is pretty much giving us right about here i mean 68 cents yes 68 cents is right here but i'm just gonna leave it here at 69 cents because if you look at the 68 cent support that we have for xrp actually let's go back over that so they say the six hour demand zone extending from 687 to 705 it's more closer to 69 cents it's at 687 so it's literally almost there if you just round it up a little bit just leave it at 69 because you don't you don't want to just wait for it to hit a certain point for you to buy in you just rather get in when you can to get, you know, just the profit off of that pump. But like I said, I don't wait for cryptos to dip when I buy. Like I buy progressively. I buy weekly, bi-weekly, weekly, however I want to do it. Usually I get paid bi-weekly, so I just do it bi-weekly. And I just bought some more crypto.com coin today. I was going to get some more baby doge, but I got more crypto.com coin today. But yeah, like, like I said, though, XRP is definitely a long-term type buy. You're not trying to buy XRP to get 300% gains with inside of a week or so. It's not going to happen like that. This lawsuit's been going out for too long for you to just get 300% gains in a week. So if you want to do 300% gains in a week, um, look into BitGert, Bit, which is called Bryce, BitGert, look that up, or Centkex. They're, they're definitely really good positions to get in on if you want those kind of gains in a short term i mean they're up so much right now that you'll you'll probably want to wait a little bit because that pullback is going to be you know massive or i mean it's not going to be too massive but still you, you just want to wait for stuff like that you don't want to just hop in at the peak like i said 13.4 percent down in the last 24 hours because it pumped so much literally inside the last 30 days 692 percent so definitely looking to rise bit girt if you really want some good games and shout out to the members for letting me know about this alexandra morin big shout out to you for letting me know about this one but yeah definitely go ahead and join the members for the channel i'll go over any crypto you want me to go over this was actually this video was actually recommended by the member elias dream so big shout out to elias dream but yeah let's keep going over the technicals here with xrp so over here, you can see as for the upside targets, XRP price is likely to sweep above the 856 level to collect the buy stop liquidity resting above the equal highs formed here. However, this barrier is not the last stop for XRP price. So a resurgence of buying pressure will extend the run up to 91 cents where Ripple set equal highs on February 8th and 9th. This run up could constitute a roughly 20% ascent from the current position of 75.4. Now, this is pretty much what I'm showing here. We have little to no resistance here. So after we end up passing this 80 cents area, the next area where we have or where we had resistance, which will still be our new resistance, would be right here, right around that 86 area. So after 80 cents, the next run up would bring us to 86 cents from 80 cents to 86 cents. And then the next run up after that, like they said, 90 cents is definitely not out the window with XRP. So let's actually scroll back a little bit and look at where we were back here inside the 8th of February. So as you can see over here, 81 cents, we had huge resistance there. But let me actually go over the four hour chart so I don't got to keep scrolling. It would make it so much easier. All right, here we are. All right, so finally, we are here at the better view for the long term of XRP. But like I said, if we go back here to the 20th of um, April, way back here, we peaked. Well, it was really like the 15th, but we peaked all the way up here 
two dollars well nearly at two dollars it was somewhere around there i can't get it all the way in here for some reason but yeah like a dollar and 95 cents so that is definitely a pump that we could see if the whole crypto market just starts going bullish because the regulations on crypto are so light like they're really treading lightly here they're not banning crypto they're just making sure that the exchanges are regulated so then people have their security needs met so this could be huge bullish news for the crypto market which could definitely see xrp rising up to 90 cents and then eventually to a dollar and eventually beyond especially now that this um sec something is gonna like cool down i really believe we're gonna win this lawsuit i really do I, it's been going out for too long like usually i if we were gonna lose this lawsuit it would have been lost but they just can't get them they just can't get them so supporting this consolidation outlook for xrp price is the market value to realize the value model this on-chain metric is used to determine the average profit size loss of investors that have purchased xrp over the month so this index recently flipped positive and it's currently hovering around the 90.5 percent so well not 90.5 but 0 0.905 not 90.5 but yeah anyways Oh, the whale transaction count on chain index tracks the numbers of transfers worth $100,000 or more and can be used as proxy of their investment interest. So this metric is currently hovering at 452 after producing multiple lower highs since the consolidation. So you can see that over here. Now, moving on from all of this, on the other hand, if XRP produces a six hour candlestick, we got to always look at the bearish scenario because anything can happen. So the 687 support will then invalidate the bullish thesis. So if we go below 687, they're pretty much saying, look, XRP ain't going to be bullish inside of the short term for for uh, the short term if we go below that 687 support. So like I said, I mentioned this, if we get out of this consolidation, we are not going to look bullish if we go out of this consolidation on this negative area. Now, this whole area right here shows more demand. The green areas on the vital algo indicators, this all shows more demand. So we're still in the green if we break out of this channel here, of this consolidation channel, and go into the 7150 to 6950 area. But if we go below 6950 to 687, you're going to see bearish movement coming for XRP. So we don't want to go below those areas because we have, but we have so much demand for those areas. Literally, when we hit those areas, you're going to see an uptrend because all the demand for XRP in those areas. You can even see here, we're a little bit oversold here on the oscillator. So since we're oversold on the oscillator here, you're going to see some buying pressure coming in after that overselling. So I don't even think we will even get to the bottom of the consolidation before we have another run up. So we may even try to run up to 74 cents before we even get back down there. So that's just a little bit of analysis for today. Remember, though, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Definitely hit the like button. Subscribe, though, if you like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And let me know what you all think about this whole lawsuit. And also, definitely become a member. I'll go over any coin that the member will want me to go over. And also, I'll be going over stocks, too. So if there's any stocks you want me to go over, let me know about that, too. So, yeah, anyways, if you want these automated training indicators, Definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description and use the discount code of Marcellus for 25% off. And as always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.